Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we have a special guest. His name is Jaro Stark. He's an entrepreneur from Brisbane, Australia, and he's going to talk about monetizing your website. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our podcast show sponsor, Michelou Consulting, has over 30 years' experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax file return, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return, I personally endorse you to contact. Jeffrey Ressler, CPA at 561-237-5264. That number again is 561-237-5264. And you can visit their website at jrcpa.net. That's jrcpa.net. Tell Jeff that Chad Deckard sent you from this podcast to receive a special rate for listening to the show. Thank you very much, and let's get on with the show. Broadcasting from the city of sun and rain off the Atlantic Ocean in Boca Raton, Florida. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to my Internet Marketing Pro podcast show. My shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, and entrepreneurism. Thank you for tuning into my show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a few quick announcements before we get started. First off, I want to say that I really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting and what a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that I'd like to explore with you all. I am very excited about you all helping me get more subscribers by sharing my content with your social network and my weekly listener bases from you doing so is growing a great deal week after week. And that's the greatest payoff that my listeners can do for me for giving back from my time and efforts in putting this show together. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show, especially on iTunes and Stitcher and YouTube. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support. Now, my next announcement is that I am going to be changing the format of this program probably starting in May, and I might be going to about three days a week, so you'll be getting three times as much content than you used to. That's because people are consuming it so fast that by the fourth day, I have no one downloading anything because they've downloaded everything that I have in sight. And also bear in mind that I have an archive of shows behind me. So feel free to you know, log into either iTunes or Stitcher or YouTube and look me up or the show up, Internet Marketing Pro, and look for past episodes that can help you in your marketing endeavors. All right, let's get on with the show. Today, we have a special guest. His name is Yaro Stark. He is an entrepreneur from Brisbane, Australia, and he is a writer and entrepreneur of the twohourworkday.com and the entrepreneurs-journey.com and crankyads.com, as well as several other sites. Yaro has created, managed, and sold several different internet businesses since 1998 and is currently teaching people how to make a full-time income from blogging part-time through their blog, through his blog mastermind coaching program and how to launch an online membership site through his membership site mastermind course. Yaro operates his business from his home on a Mac Air laptop while traveling and he has managed to generate over a half a million dollars a year with no full-time staff and he is his only employee and basically he, that's what he does is he just runs an online business and teaches people how to do it too. Well, today we have Yaro Starak with us from Brisbane, Australia. How you doing, Yaro? <laughs> I'm good, Chad. You, you you really sound an American when you said that one. <laughs> really? Did I uh, mispronounce how you say your last name? Uh, no, it's my my city. Um, it's it's a bit of a misleading especially because of the A, but people here say it Brisbane. Brisbane. I think every American come here and they say Brisbane, and we always laugh, but, you know. Well, you know what's funny about that is that my family's from Maine. For some reason, I want to say Ain, and, you know, it's that northeastern thing where we stretch our E's, and I guess yeah. That, but, uh, yeah, you can have a little chuckle there with me. I'm, I'm glad to be uh, pretty funny. <laughs> so I'm really pleased to have you with us here today on our uh, Internet Marketing Pro Show. And the reason I uh, wanted to invite you on the show this week is to um, 
give us a little bit of a rundown since we're, you know, all marketers online and many of us are bloggers and we're always looking for ways to monetize our websites. And I think more recently you just launched a new website called Cranky Ads. Is that correct? More recently, in, in a, a very long career of internet, but two years ago was when I actually sort of started it, so it's not that recent. Okay, well, I just stumbled upon it more recently. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and, and I think you guys did an update uh, on it and made it, I think, uh, like for people who necessarily don't have WordPress. That's right, yeah. You could say that we actually finally reached the 1.0 version of the software where it does everything we initially envisioned it to do. So anyone can use it. It used to be just a WordPress plugin, but now it's available on any website and it handles all the types of advertising that we planned, including video, text links, and your traditional banners. And it's got a very elegant control panel to control all of it. So um, yeah, we're happy with where it's at. Yeah, so like, you know, tell me a little bit more about it. You know, I actually signed up and I, I, I got inside and I started looking around and I got to the point where I actually installed it on my WordPress. It was very easy to do. And I'm inside the create zone right now, actually, as I'm talking to you on the phone. And I think it's really neat because you could sit here and and, 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 and pick custom uh, advertising that you could place on your website. And I assume that, it, you know, basically you have a network of people who go in and kind of look at a um, sort of a directory listing and uh, that might be relative that um, like a site, you know, and they could pay uh, to advertise on your site. Is that usually how, hmm. is that how it works? Yeah, it, it actually came about from my own experience with advertising, because I've actually been making money from advertising for the longest out of every source of income I've had online. It's over 10 years now. Uh, my first ever card game website, which I started in the year 2000, started to make a little bit of money from banner advertising. And that was actually the first income stream I had online that wasn't you know, selling stuff on eBay or something like that. So over the years from that site to eventually starting a blog and then making money from advertising from the blog and that's been something I've done for you know seven years now and it's it's not the biggest source of income for me but it's been the most stable by far you know it's two thousand to five thousand dollars a month for over ten years which is it's something nice to fall back on when you know you, you're not doing other things as well it's quite passive so when it came time to like think about cranky ads and what I wanted to do, it, it was really a combination of two things. I had used different ad rotation tools before on my sites and a lot of them were just, they, they were great at what they did but they were over complicating what I think should have been a fairly simple thing you wanted to do. You just basically want to get some ads up and have them appear and rotate and just charge by the month and uh, anyone should be able to set it up. And unfortunately for me, I, you know, I'm technical, but I'm not that technical. And most of the time I use these tools and they just were too hard and had too many options to configure. And I just really wanted something simple. So the Cranky Ad software was kind of built for me uh, to begin with. And uh, we've you know, built it out from there. But one of the other key aspects of it that is sort of my sort of secret sauce that I developed over the years was just a couple of things to make it easier for you to sell ads on your site without doing work. Like when I got started, I would go out and knock on doors to find sponsors, which is certainly something I recommend people do, especially if you have a smaller site. But with my blog, because I have an existing audience that I built up, all the advertisers have come from the audience. I haven't needed to mm -hmm. go out there and, and you know find sponsors. So they just sort of keep coming. And to help make it easy for them to buy ads, there's some very obvious things that your ad system should do that a lot of them don't, which is simple things. Obviously, if you want to sell ads, you should tell people you have advertising available. So just having those advertise here, default ads appear when you've got spare inventory is a good start. Um, if you use the plugin version of our, of our service, you also get an advertise here page created which is something I think everyone should do. You know, have a page, you click on a site that actually says how much you charge for advertising, what they get in return, mm -hmm. uh, some statistics about your site, just some basic in, you know, information and make it a no-brainer. Like I find it amazing how many people sell ads and they just have a link, click here, and we can negotiate a deal or something like that. And I don't want to be sitting there emailing back and forth going, all right, what do you want? 
How much do you want to pay? <laughs> yeah. You know, what do you have? I just like, here's the price. Here's the size of the advertisement. Click the buy button, fill out the details, upload your media, make payment, and then all I have to do is approve it. And that was sort of another thing that Cranky Ads was designed to do is just control the whole process from start to finish, um, automating it and making it as close to passive for the owner of the website. That, that's always been my goal with everything I do with my blog is getting it very hands off. So Cranky Ads is designed to help you do that. And uh, one more thing with it is just being able to control aspects of your advertising that aren't necessarily only about you selling ads to other people. And I know a lot of sites out there don't have enough traffic yet to maybe sell directly and they want to keep using AdSense or maybe they don't even like using too many ads from other people but they want to put ads for their own stuff or they want to try selling affiliate products. You know, Maybe you want to go to ClickBank and promote some of the ebooks and information products available there or even stuff that's in Amazon.com if you want to sell physical goods. So you can use Cranky Ads to rotate advertisements for your own products and services or affiliate products and services as well and have it default to say AdSense if you have no ads running. So you can kind of monetize every phase when you've got no ads, when you want to promote your own stuff and when you want to make it available to other people to directly buy ads from you. So that's kind of like the the nutshell version of what Cranky Ads does. Yeah, it seems pretty simple enough and very straightforward, nothing too complex, but it almost seems like a, a way, like you said, um, you know, the, like this show is Internet Marketing Pro, and Pro is an acronym for Performance Results Driven Optimization, and you created sort of almost kind of a a means or an ex somewhat of an exchange, I would assume, um, where someone it gives them an ability to enhance something that maybe they didn't, they don't know how to do. Cause you know, I come from a, a media background ever since I got out of college, you know, I started working for a major agency in Atlanta, Georgia. I worked for Turner broadcasting, you know, at the CNN building and, and, you know, we dealt with media kits and, you know, here's our prices and here's the way that you put it together and package it just like you said. And some people just don't understand how to present that and how to monetize our blog. So I like to cranky ads and I've listened to a lot of people and they're always asking me, you know, how do I monetize my site other than just waiting for my affiliate links to actually, you know, convert or make money or what works. And, you know, a lot of people I see using Google, um, you know, they, it's funny, they'll put sometimes three boxes on the same page and they're showing the same ad three times, you know, mm. so at, you know, with AdWords. So there's, you know, this gives you another means of being able to sell a spot and actually maybe get, you know, some money based on your traffic. And, you know, you could utilize that money as a, as maybe, you know, a fixed revenue, a guaranteed piece of revenue to pay for your site or maybe all the gizmos and gadgets behind the scene that you use to run the site. But um, I'm on your, your website, Yaro, you know, the, the Staric, you know, you're basically your name dot com. And, you know, mm -hmm. you have a series of sites. You have entrepreneurs uh, journey dot com. You have blog mastermind dot com. You have membership site mastermind dot com and become a blogger dot com and the two hour workday dot com and cranky ads, of course. So you've got a lot of projects going and have been in the game for quite a while to build these uh, properties up. Um, Tell us a little bit. I think that you you obviously. I mean, I think I read your book. I downloaded the the blogging uh, profits blueprint before, and on your entrepreneur's journey. And I think what you started off basically um, interviewing people, right, and building up a sort of a uh, an archive of a bunch of influencers, which kind of led to uh, one thing to another, right? Tell us a little bit about that your journey. Well. Um... Yes and no. I started a podcast in 2006, which was an extension of the Entrepreneur's Journey blog, which was started in 2005. So uh, it was more an add-on to my writing. I, I was already writing on a regular basis, mostly just telling stories from the online businesses and some of the offline things I had done prior to getting into blogging. Uh, I had a, It's funny, it's almost like I had two careers. I had my 1998 to 2005 before blogging career where I had a proofreading business and I had uh, an English school and a Magic the Gathering card site and I also did some buying and selling you know, websites, investing in sites. So that was one phase and then I started my blogging career and there was a bit of an overlap but I slowly sold everything else as I discovered I, I love blogging and I love podcasting. Mm -hmm. And the podcasting part, yes, you're right. I, I've been interviewing people since 2006. Um, you know, I'm not like... 
uh, the fellow you recently interviewed, John Lee Dumas, who's doing it every single day, which is a monumental achievement. That's, that's, that's I know, a hard it is to maintain an everyday type thing and to get someone on an interview every day is, is a challenge. But um, I've been doing it for the entire time and I've, I've got a range of interviews there. And I think it's a great way to produce valuable content, just like we're doing now, obviously. So, um, but I built up an audience, built up a newsletter and then started creating training products. And some of them you mentioned, Blog Mastermind, Membership Site Mastermind and, and uh, Two Hour Workday is one um, coming soon. So it's, uh, I mean, it's, what can I say? It's, it's, a, it's a massive journey, but it's changed my life. And, you know, I've made over a million dollars thanks to blogging and, and selling training products and, you know, pay for the house, the car and allowed me to have the kind of lifestyle where there's a lot less stresses and deadlines than I think most people have. I, I tend to sit at cafes and write for a couple of hours and, and call that my work day done. So mm -hmm. um, it's a good lifestyle. So you would say then your background, you're not really a tech then, you're really just more of a writer from your base, from where you came from and you kind of, you kind of found your way because I guess what I'm trying to get across here to the listeners is that a lot of people sometimes see this like monumental hill in front of them and like, oh, I can never be on the internet or I can't start a business because I just don't have what it takes to get online and, and get started. And I think, you know, besides, you know, you giving some great stories on your podcast from Entrepreneur's um, Journey, you teach people through your blog mastermind or your membership site mastermind or how to become a blogger, how to get these skills, you know, and tell us a little bit more about, you know, which one of these sites, like somebody who might be a newbie, where they might want to go um, to find out information and start learning on how they can become like you maybe in a few years? Well, you mentioned my report, The Blog Profits Blueprint, which you can get on my blog. Uh, I actually just tell people to remember my name, Yaro, Y-A-R-O, and, and Google that because you'll find my blog easier that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the Blog Profits Blueprint, it, it's amazing. I wrote that in 2007, and it was me recounting everything I had done to get my blog to between $5,000 and $10,000 a month over the last uh, two years or so that I've been running it. And I, I just, it was fresh in my mind. I'd gone through all the early work of growing a blog and I sat down and I was planning on releasing a training course, but this report was going to be the lead in for it. And I wrote it in a month and released it in the launch and it just caught on like wildfire. I think it's still probably considered the most fundamental blog training product. And it was the first one I know very confident it was the first uh, you know blog profits training manual out there mm -hmm. um, and it continues to get downloaded it's amazing to me like every day I've got like a hundred people downloading it um, and it's to answer your question it's the best introduction I think you can give people to the fundamentals of building a profitable blog so getting the audience well first of all setting up the blog and choosing a topic and the basic things like that and then writing content for it using the, the format I call the pillar article, which is just a, it's a psychology as well as a technique for producing content that other people want to share with others and also gives you the, the pillars, as I call it, a pillar foundation for a great blog because it will bring in traffic over time. It's, a, it's not like a, a magical technique. You've got to put in the work and create this great content, but the principles behind it are sound and you know everyone who has a great blog uses that sort of format. Uh, and then I teach marketing techniques. Uh, I call them communication channels in the Blog Profits Blueprint, which basically in the, in the report I teach people the easier communication channels, the things like going on to other blogs and leaving comments or spending time at a forum and becoming a regular member there. Or, um, you know, maybe even just nowadays, you'd probably spend a bit of time on Facebook or Twitter and slowly build up your following. Those are the, the simple communication channels that can certainly bring in traffic. And then I, I talk about the bigger ones, which are just things you can do that require a bit more work. So, you know, doing a regular podcast, uh, it brings in more traffic. Writing a free report brings in more traffic. Um, so there's things that take more time, but usually bring in uh, more rewards for you, especially if you'd repeat, you know, doing one podcast is great, but if you're like John and you do one a day for, you know, a year, you've yeah, got 365 yeah. interviews. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. He's um, a machine. <laughs> yeah. And he's doing a so, really great job at it. Yeah. He sure is. Yeah. You can tell the dedication he had from day one. So yeah. And, and those things that I talk about monetizing, uh, advertising affiliate income and then creating your own products and of course using an email newsletter with your blog as well it's very important 
and end it with some talk about automation and you know building an actual business behind your blog. So it, it's all in the blog purpose blueprint. It's free. Um, it's about to get updated. Actually, it's still probably 90% relevant, but there's one area I want to change. Like, uh, social media has changed since I wrote the report. I, mm -hmm. I think I talked a bit more about things like Dig back in the day, and you know, Dig is no longer a leading player in the social right, media sphere exactly. as it used to be. So, Yeah, I, I had a chance to read it. I think I read it about maybe between four and six weeks ago. I, I, I downloaded it and read it, and um, I found it really interesting. There's a lot of really great golden nuggets in there, even for someone like me who's been a longtime veteran you know, being 18 years on the uh, internet, um, you know, when I first put my first website and business online. But let me ask you this, Yara, what is your opinion currently right now where you believe are the greatest opportunities for people who want to start a business or a blog online today? I mean, I noticed that you have maybe a membership site mastermind. I mean, what do you think? Do you think membership sites are probably the greatest opportunity of People, you know, they always say people have a book inside them or everybody knows how to do something really good. Um, mm. what, what are your opinion? Well, you know, you're, you're talking about a format there. And I think the membership site is a fantastic format for making money. But there's the whole building up to the point where you can actually sell people into the membership site. So I think the real opportunity is going into yes what you're passionate about which hopefully isn't too obscure that other people are also passionate about it uh, and hopefully it's uh, something that maybe isn't marketed online as well or you've got a unique angle you no doubt got a unique voice and you've done unique things so you can start with that and then building up a following you know starting a blog starting a podcast starting a newsletter and not all those things at once you know do it over time and then move on to, yes, launching a, a paid training program, I think are fantastic. But you know you can start simple and just sell one video as a one standoff product. Um, mm -hmm. I just did an interview for a paid interview series I'm putting together right now with a name uh, a guy named jo Joe Gilder, who has a great business. I was so impressed because he's done everything that I've sort of stood for over the time I've been a blog teacher. he He started a blog in what he's good at, which is home audio recording studios, setting them up, you know, buying the equipment, recording music, using the software and editing. So anyone who's like a, a hobbyist musician or semi-professional musician who wants to edit and record music, and there's quite a lot to that. Mm -hmm. And he has a skill in that area. He's used to be a, a work for a company and sold the equipment and he, he's a musician, so he produces himself. And he just started the blog. Six months later, he had 500 people on his newsletter and, and sold an introductory sort of basic training product and made $3,000 and then created another product and then created a membership site and built his blog over, over time. And five years later, he's making $300,000 a year with wow. no employees other than himself. And the reason why, besides the fact that he's providing value, of course, that it's working so well, is he's entered a market where there's just not a lot of good marketers yet. It's It's not mm -hmm. saturated with people doing the basics like using email and doing a launch format and um, actually creating product like a products that he's got 13 products on the market. I'm actually kind of using him as inspiration to get more products out myself because he's really quick at it. He just, you know, doesn't worry too much about the perfect sales page and the perfect graphics for his products. He just uh, says, yeah. here's my product I'm creating. He goes and sells it, you know, plugs it into PayPal and, and Aweber to deliver the content through email, make some videos, and that's it. And you know, made a lot of money now, and it, it's amazing because he's he is a one man show largely. I think he's got one tech person. He said helping him, mm -hmm. so his margins are ridiculous. He, you know, you get to keep most of that three hundred thousand dollars. So uh, yeah, great I mean, story. It's just little cash cows. You know, you just pump out one after another. He's, if he's got a really good system like that, then uh, you know he's he's mastered his art, and that's that's fantastic. And that's where most people want to be. You know, it's like how can I be successful and catch you know some success and okay now how do I duplicate that you know and I mm -hmm. think that's what he's been able to do you've been able obviously to do that as well yeah and it's picking a niche that you're passionate enough about to go at it for long enough to be successful that's that's the important part and of course there has to be an audience like I said you can't be doing some sort of obscure mating habit of a turtle that no one else cares about but if you're doing something that other people are interested in and there's not a saturated market, like I, I wouldn't go into Forex trading at the top level. I'd, I'd want to niche that down. 
Uh, I wouldn't go into how to make money blogging. I'd want to get specific with that as well because there's a lot of people who already cover these things. Right, exactly. But if, if, if you're, I don't know, like if, if you know how to do a, a special type of dancing, that <laughs> might be something that people want to learn about, but it's not marketed well yet online. Get in there and be the first one and, and you really can do well. Yeah, you know who that kind of reminds me of? Like when you say like, unique things i kind of really dig like what makes him so popular um uh, right from the get-go too is tim ferris you know he comes out with the four-hour work week and then you know he's got uh the, what is the four-hour body you know and, and then mm -hmm, he's got mm -hmm. the whole cooking going on and he's kind of re re taking something that already exists that's extremely saturated but yet kind of gives it a new twist and um and not only that, he kind of almost builds up a, a yearning, like like something that makes you yearn to want to experience or go through what he goes through. And and that's maybe, you know, what, you know, you know people lack sometimes with the products is maybe that sizzle. You know, that's kind of the yeah. key. And just like you said, you know, you're, you're one fella that's pumping out like the 13 different products. It's not always about what it necessarily looks like. It's a matter of what you say and what are, what, what's the quality of the content that you deliver. Because what happens, I find, is that the most powerful form of marketing is the word of mouth, you know? And once somebody really likes something, you know, they're going to tell other people. Like, we tell people every day, like, oh, I like this movie or try this out at this restaurant because it's a really great dish, you know? So mm -hmm. um, I think that's really a big thing today is that, you know, take the time to really assess what it is that your greatest talents and greatest strengths are. And then go to a site like what you have, you know, um, you know, established, you know, I, you know, what, all that list of sites that I basically I've, uh, you know, mentioned earlier in the program and, you know, begin obviously, you know, sign up as a member and uh, check out your information and learn to become a blogger or learn these different skills of how to set up a mastermind, um, you know, with other people so you can learn from other people or a membership site so you can teach others or um, you know, and all that good stuff. But what you know, you have this two-hour workday. Is that you said that's your latest product that you're coming out with? Is that is that correct? Sort of, yeah. I I actually ended up pushing it back to probably next year because uh, I've got three introductory training guides. See, I'm going through a process of building a sales funnel because I actually turned everything off over the last two years. I've shut down my training programs. I was pretty much just maintaining my blog because they all need to be updated and I, and I actually want to go and, and build a proper funnel. Like I've been a very launch-based marketer, which has been great, but it's also up and down. You, know, you do a bunch of work for a few months, create a course, launch it to people, you make a bunch of sales, you make a bunch of money, but then it stops. So okay. it's not, not pure passive, but it, geez, you can make you know, – hundred thousand dollars in, in a month or two so you do that a few times a year and you're pretty happy um, but I, I want to create something that's got the full suite you know again like Joe having 13 products I also want to have you know here's my product on buying and selling blogs here's my product on mindset and productivity here's my product on membership sites on blogging um, on email marketing and so forth the two-hour workday being one of them so I'm building these things out and I've got a few of the smaller front end guides coming out next and then the two hour work day will be, you know, sort of a more intense training program. But um, it's something that kind of, it's, it's really going to be the be end all of products for me. It's probably the last big course I will create actually because it's exactly what I've stood for as a blogger. Like I don't like having to work on anything eight hours a day. There's nothing I love enough to do eight hours a day. Like I think for me, life needs to be broken up into sort of two hour chunks where two hours of exercise, two hours of cooking and eating, two hours of socializing, two hours of doing content or product creation for your own business, you know, maybe two hours of more reflective marketing rather than creating content, but you know, interacting with your community. Um, Obviously, you got to sleep. You sleep for more than two hours, or some, some people do anyway. But um, yeah, so I think for me, variety and freedom have been the most important drivers. Even if I love something like eating ice cream and chocolate, I can't do that for eight hours a day because it's it doesn't feel good. There's nothing that feels good, I think, for for that long except for sleeping. So um, 
that's been important. And it's, it's actually a unique trick to do that because a lot of people who work even as entrepreneurs, either for startup companies or even just what we're talking about, bloggers, information marketers, small business owners, it's not eight hour days. It can be 10 hour days. It can be 12 hour days. So to actually effectively come up with a business that pays your bills and hopefully then some on two hours a day is actually really, really hard. And in fact, Tim, I as agree. you mentioned before, <laughs> yeah. is, you know, the, one of the things um, I was interviewing uh, Rich Sheffern recently, he's a, been a pretty important mentor for me because he actually stands for business systemization. And uh, that's what he does. He helps people get away from the huge 12 hour work days and having a business that can grow without you. And he was commenting in the interview I did with him about Tim and how Rich actually had a client that teaches outsourcing and he was having trouble getting customers. And Tim essentially teaches outsourcing as his sort of core uh, technical component of how to make it all work. But he didn't call it that. His marketing was a lot smarter. He went out there with this whole concept of lifestyle design, four hour work week, kind of like you know what I was talking about before with working small bunches of time. And that caught on like wildfire. So it's a much better sizzle, as you said. Yeah, it's selling a, a dream. A, 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 you yeah, know, the marketing the is much better. Yeah, my, totally. So I, he entered and, and boom, of course, he, he worked hard. He, he contacted all these bloggers, make sure everyone was talking about the same time. He did a really good launch. And that helped him get on all the radio shows and get a bunch of exposure and cemented his brand. And, you know, since then, he's he's... He's in the limelight and he can leverage off that to do amazing things. So that, that one four hour work week book launch was a, a you know a big life changer for him. Absolutely. And you had just mentioned one thing and you know, this actually really um has my curiosity is like when you mentioned launch, that's something very different vocabulary than um what my background is. Um I'm more of a data monetization expert. I route data um, or aggregate it from people who put forms up online, whether it's payday to uh, auto warranty or whatever the vertical market would be. They route that data after they use that lead. It flows into my system within a few hours, and then I reroute it, and it's remonetized either through email, mobile, you know, uh, direct mailers, um, and um, well, I guess I covered them all. And um, uh, oh yeah, SMS, and so. You know, when you say launch, is there any type of really good program out there that teaches you how to do a really great launch? You know, you talk about making $100,000 really fast and furious, and then all of a sudden it goes down. I mean, is there any kind of good product you'd recommend out there that could teach people how to actually align a perfect launch? Because once again, going back to our friend John Lee Dumas, he did he does the perfect launch. And right from the get-go, from day one, his story is, and I've seen his his analytics, you know, on Lipson, you know, 3,000, 5,000 downloads a day. He said the trick was to get a lot of reviews and ratings on iTunes, and next thing you know, he's on the radar, and he's blowing up. And he, I think just mm -hmm. recently, a couple of weeks ago, he just hit his first day, he hit over 10,000 downloads in a day, and that's absolutely phenomenal. Mm. And not only that, only a year ago, he was absolutely kind of green to all this, so that just you know, tells the person who's just trying to get started a day that people are doing it all the time and every day. It's just a matter of how much commitment. So going back to the, you know, the launch, do you have any recommendations as far as the perfect launch for products? Yeah. Well, you know, John did more of an iTunes launch. So I don't, that, you know, the recommendations probably for that are actually to study uh, recently, two people. Uh, Pat Flynn had his guide on podcasting, and, and Pro Blogger just recently released one from Chris Ducker, who has a podcast as well. So, you know, if you're launching a podcast specifically, I would look at those two guys. But for gen general launching, especially internet products, so either information products or maybe like what Tim did with with a book, I the, the father of this in the internet marketing space is, is Jeff Walker. He he has Product Launch Formula, which is a course that's been recreated and like he sells it every year and, and re redoes it basically since well 2006 I think I, I think I bought it myself in 2007 when it was a home study course and uh, you know it was a thousand dollar product back then um, great stuff uh, I, I learned a lot from studying Jeff but also studying all the people who used his stuff like my background when I was really focusing on launching products before that I learned from John Reese and Mike Fulsame and Rich Sheffer and Jeff Walker, 
um, the the guys from uh, what do you call it uh, SEO. Um, that's been a while. SEO Stompernet. Or? No, Stompernet. Uh, oh, they, okay. It's probably no longer on the market, but um, Andy Jenkins uh, was in Stompernet, and and there's just a lot a lot of people that did these massive launches. Uh, Evan Pagan, another one. And you know they closed anywhere between one and, and ten million dollars in in a matter of a month from releasing a training product, and it's it's like the announcement of a movie. So it's mm-hmm. you know it's brilliant. They they call it the sideways sales letter. That's what Jeff calls it. So everything you put in one of those massive long sales letters, instead of doing that, you turn it sideways and slowly release it over a period of weeks to build up intensity. So you're saying, hey, I'm going to create this product, and then you're saying, here's a sample and then you might give them a free report or some videos and you're talking about what it's going to be about and who it's going to help. And then you're showing all the, the excitement out there and you're, all these comments are being left on each video. And then you're having a, a deadline when you release it for scarcity and all these affiliates promoting it at the same time. So it seems like everyone's talking about the same thing. And it's like this pressure cooker that, especially with the scarcity element, if it's only available for a week or something like that, it's drives huge amounts of sales. I'm, I'm always amazed. Like when I did my first ever launch sort of following this formula, I sold 400 people into my first blog mastermind training program and 50% of them came in the last day. It's, it's you, this is experience when the, when your products on the market and taken off the market, yeah. I've, I've had it countless times since then. It's so fun. You know, it's oh, a lot of work to get it to work, but you gotta you gotta sail a minute coming in sometimes. <laughs> it just feels amazing to know it's it's all electronic and there's people around the world who are buying your stuff and email comes through forty seven dollars, forty seven dollars, forty seven dollars, and you know, you do the math and suddenly you're making a hundred thousand a year from just doing this one launch. So uh I really recommend it. And I should recommend my own report if I actually talk a lot about the launch formula I used for my my training programs inside the uh, membership site manual which is uh, is available on membership site manual.com great yeah I, I I totally get what you're saying I mean um, I started my first business I actually was one of the first people to um, launch a um, the first mass email marketing system I, I actually basically went to market the same exact month that a Weber did Wow. And um, a long time ago. Yeah, it was. Um, I was like 26. It was in 1996. And we, I had started kind of just like you. I, I wrote a book and it was called Get the Word Out Campaign. And it was a grassroots marketing book that I ended up selling about 90,000 copies through, I guess, the dinosaur age um, search engines, which were just classified ads. So any given day, I had, you know, 3 million, 4 million newspapers with my little ad and, you know, in the back of the news, newspaper or magazine. And, you know, for two years, I sold a lot of those books. It only cost me like, you know, two bucks to make at Kinko's. But Mm -hmm. um, after a while, I wanted to automate it once the Internet started to open up when AOL said, you got mail, we're giving away, you know, millions of discs everywhere you looked. And um, you're right. You know, I'd run these specials. We used to run these specials once a quarter, that last month of the quarter where we would say, you know, We'll give you, you pay for nine months and you get three months free. And I think it was like $200 we charged. And you're right. We'd get down, we'd, we'd mail them like every other day. And, and uh, we'd get down to that like last two or three days and it would just come pouring in. And, um, and uh, I remember my best day ever was almost $253,000. It was ridiculous. It was like as soon as you would refresh, it was like it was just the ticker was going up. So it was really exciting. But what we would do is once it got to midnight because the time zones were all different around the world, you know, and we were just East Coast here in, in, in Florida, we would come back the next day and make an announcement going, well, due to popular demand and the crazy people who couldn't get in through the doors last night, we're going to extend it for one more week. And then we drive it one more time. We wouldn't quite get the surge that we did, but we could still make another ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a day for another week. And then all of a sudden it would go back down to the norm where we'd only get maybe you know two or three dozen people buying the product on any, any given day. But, um, yeah, that's that's the launch is something a little bit different because 
personally, I have not, my background, like I said, was more of a starting affiliate networks, being a chief marketing officer for a large financial conglomerate. And now I'm in blogging and um, on data, like I said, I'm, I'm getting ready to launch myself, and that's why I was asking you, a new site called ezinegenerator.com, which is a news aggregation site. I take all the top 100 blogs in, um, you know, the duct tape, um, you know, the whole duct tape, what is it, duct tape marketing? Oh, uh, duct tape that? marketing, yep. Yeah, right the on. whole uh, total online presence concept, and I broke the website down into eight areas of those specific areas of interest of total online presence and now put the top 100 blogs and other resources and ads in there and it's just a membership site and I give away for free and then you know my thing is that I'm gonna sell an opportunity for you to be able to post your blog in a premium spot you know and I also allow you to do it for free but if you're gonna do it for free you gotta put my ad on your site somewhere where people can see it because we gotta exchange traffic and mm -hmm. then of course I got John's product on our pod platform and so I'm curious on how to build up. This will be my first membership site, you know, other than, you know, e, you know, it was the info generator that I did back in the 90s that I was mentioning earlier. So I really appreciate you sharing all your knowledge um, and experience with us here on this program. Looks like we're going to have to wrap it up. Um, we're running about 40 minutes, but I really, I really appreciate all your time and efforts, uh, Yarrow, uh, for being on the show. And, no uh, problem, Chad. How about Love if talking you about this. let everyone know how to uh, get a hold and contact you if they're interested in checking out all the really cool things that you're into? Yeah, like I said earlier, uh, Yaro, Y-A-R-O. Remember that. I'm going for the, the Madonna and the Oprah one name <laughs> sort of fame here. And uh, if you Google that, you'll find everything. So, And, of course, Cranky Ads. Don't forget, that's crankyads.com if you want to start monetizing your website. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that name, Yaro. It is unique and very cool. Um, and I'm sure you'll do something. You'll come out. You'll just be known as Yaro in the, in, in the, in the future. Cause, <laughs> but anyway, oh. <laughs> thank you very much, and, and that's about it. Thanks, Chad. Bye-bye. Well, that's about it for this show. If you like my show, please consider subscribing to it, which you can do by visiting my website, chaddecker.com. Or if you are an iTunes or Stitcher Smart Radio listener, take it with you wherever you go on your mobile device. If you like my show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to my show. I greatly appreciate your efforts and support, and you are part of what makes this show a success. Well, that's about it for this show. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. This is Chad Deckard signing off. Goodbye for now. <laughs>